I have some sensitive financial information in Excel 2007 that I don't want just anyone to be able to see. So I'm going to add a password that will help prevent unauthorized access to the workbook. Passwords can be set the same way in Word and PowerPoint. I create a password that will be required to open the workbook by clicking the Microsoft Office button, pointing to Prepare, and then clicking Encrypt Document. Now I'm ready to add a password. Notice that the characters I type show as black dots on the screen, so no one can read my password over my shoulder. After I have typed my password, I click OK. A Confirm Password dialog box appears where I retype the password I just typed. This helps prevent typing or spelling mistakes. I then click OK and save the workbook to set the password. My entire file is now encrypted and requires a password to open it. To test this, I'll close the workbook and then try to reopen it. I get prompted to enter a password. I'll pretend I don't know the password and type the wrong one. Good, I get a message saying the password I entered is incorrect and the workbook does not open. I click OK and then try opening it again. This time I use the correct password and then click OK and the workbook opens. Now I'll switch to a Word 2007 document that contains a report that several people have contributed to. I have already set a password to open this document and given that password to people who need to view it. Some, but not all of those reviewers, also need to actually make changes to the document. So for them, I will create a second password, a password to allow them to modify the document. A password to modify is not as secure as a password to open, but it does help prevent accidental changes from being made in a collaboration effort. I click the Microsoft Office button, click Save As, click Tools, and then click General Options. Notice that the password to open the document already exists. I'll type a different password in the Password to Modify box. I get prompted to enter the password again to make sure I didn't mistype anything. With the Password to Modify confirmed, I can save and close my document. I'll then reopen the document. First, I'll enter the password to open when prompted and click OK. Then I'll enter the password to modify. If I didn't have the password to modify, I could click the Read Only button to view the document. More on that later. But because I do have the password, I'll type that in. There, the document opens and I'm ready to start editing. If I decide later that I want to let everyone open the document without requiring them to use a password, but I still don't want them changing the document, I just go back to the General Options dialog box and clear the Password to Open box, but I leave the Password to Modify in place. Now let's verify that things work the way I want. I close the document and then open it again. As expected, I get prompted to enter a Password to Modify, not a Password to Open. Anyone who doesn't have the password to modify can view the document by clicking the Read Only button. Anyone who opens the document in Read Only mode can view it but can't save any changes to the original document. The only way someone can make changes is by saving the document with a different name or location. They can then make and save changes to the new document. When I go back to my original document and enter the password to modify, I see that it does not contain those changes. Now that I have entered the correct password to modify the document, I can go ahead and make the changes I need. Passwords help me control and manage access to my files. It's good to be cautious.